As had become Rafael Navarro's habit over the last several months, he nearly caused another irreversible catastrophe, all because he had butter on his fingers and Etienne Galois on the brain. Served him right. No one had ordered him to make out with the man and then ghost him for months. He'd made his bed, and tonight Karma was going to make sure he lay in it. Ten cuidado! His father's warning to be careful came as the cake, balanced between Rafi and the baker, his friend Simon Santiago, veered at a vertiginous angle. Got it, Senor Navarro, Simon said, rescuing the cake from certain disaster without damaging a single sugar flower. Rafi was weak with relief. If we ruin this cake, Val will pin us to the wall with her cooking knives. In fact, if anyone dared ruin Rafi's oldest sister's engagement party to her fiancé, Philip Wagner, they'd have to move out of East Ward altogether. It would be easier than dealing with her when she lost her temper. Que dramatico, Poppy said, smiling indulgently. Maybe Rafi was being a little dramatic, but then again, Poppy wasn't going to have the night he was about to have. Simon wiped their brow. I haven't stopped for more than five minutes. November is the start of our busiest period, with the holidays just around the corner. Simon's family owned Pan Dulce, the neighborhood bakery where the Navarros and almost everyone in East Ward ordered cakes and pastries for every occasion. Cold weather was not a deterrent when it came to celebrating life's most important milestones. For Rafi, the school year gave shape to his life. Classes were in full swing, and Rafi did what Rafi always did with the precision he'd honed to perfection. Woke at 5.30 to hit the gym before teaching high school math for exactly 7.45 hours, graded for another hour before taking the bus home, stopping to check on his father, who lived in the same building as Rafi. Relaxed to one of his theoretical math books, or, if he was too brain-fried, watched his favorite show. Helped out at Navarro's on Saturday, the restaurant his father owned with Val, followed by a pickup basketball game with his friends at the community courts. Sunday was his only wild card day, and he usually caught up on schoolwork for the following week. 